Hey guys, welcome back to Caption Jasper. Today I thought I'd give you 10 tips on bonding bunnies. Many people think of rabbits as these cute, adorable creatures who could do no harm. But rabbits are actually highly territorial animals and have even been known to fight to the death, defending their territory from unfamiliar rabbits. Due to this, bonding can be a bit tricky. Some bunnies can take months to bond, while some bond instantly. I thought I'd go through 10 tips to make bonding a tad bit easier. I don't believe in stress bonding or intense bonding, as I think it's better for animals to be able to get to know each other on their own terms. Before we continue, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Number one, having them neutered. As rabbits are highly territorial animals, having them neutered will help decrease these territorial behaviours and in turn make bonding a little bit easier. Just remember that neutering only decreases the behaviours and doesn't diminish them completely. Neutering rabbits is also extremely beneficial for their health, and rabbits have been known to live twice as long if they are neutered. Number two, having a neutral area when they first meet. This again will help decrease their territorial instincts, as they are both unfamiliar to the area. I also advise number three, having bars in between them when they meet, and during the bonding process. This will allow them to see each other and get to know each other, but it will also stop any nasty fights from happening. I also advise having very thin bars or doubling up on them so they can't get their teeth in between the bars and bite each other. It's also best to do the whole bonding process in a neutral area, but if this isn't possible then just put bars separating down the enclosure or room that they are in. And it's also best to number four, swap each side that they're on at least every few days. This will help them stop becoming territorial on either of their sides. And it will also give them a chance to sniff out the other one's side and get to know their scent. Number five, putting food bowls right next to the bars. What I mean by this is putting each one's food bowl right next to each other, either side of the bars, so they have to go up and eat together. Eating in rabbits is a highly social activity and this will really help bomb them. If you find that one of them doesn't like to go up to the bars to eat, then maybe move it a bit further back so they feel comfortable. Number six, stroking them both at the same time. This will help them both realize that they are both not a threat especially if one of them is already your rabbit and trusts you a lot. By stroking the other one at the same time, it will help them learn that they're okay. Number seven, calming music. Music has scientifically been proven to help decrease stress in animals, but you have to choose the right type, as stuff like heavy metal music has actually been proven to cause stress in animals such as dogs. But I really believe that music really does help calm animals down. Playing all of the bunnies' favourite songs has really helped in, bond in the bonding process with the boys. They've been doing really well, and I haven't actually had to put any bars between them today, so that's good. Um, I think rebonding buns that have already had a bond initially is a bit easier than bonding to completely unfamiliar rabbits. So I will probably do another video on rebonding buns, as it's, a, I think, a slightly different process. Yeah, calming music has really helped. So find what your bunny likes and comment below if your rabbit already likes music and what they like. Number eight, having little bonding meetups in neutral area away from their bonding space. These need to be very controlled, especially if there's any signs of aggression. You need to stop it immediately and put them back into their either side of their pens and then start again in a few days but I think these meetups can be really handy. This is actually how, um, with my rabbit Stan, I got him to bond with June and the boys. So they'd been, they had such a long bonding process. It took months to bond him with them. And I think it's because the boys were going through being neutered and stuff, so we couldn't really bond them at the time, but I always kept it so he could see the boys and June. Um, and then one day I took them down into the hallway, which is quite a neutral area in our household. Nobody. The bunnies don't really spend a lot of time there. And that's when they all just clicked. Um, Stan decided to hump everyone because he was the biggest one out of them all. And he became the most dominant one out of them all, which was such a surprise because he was always such a laid back rabbit. But I think because of his senior position, he was the oldest and he was the biggest. They just kind of all accepted him as the leader. And June was completely besotted from him from the start. It did take a while for the boys to warm up to Stan as they were still very young and they had a lot of territorial instincts kicking in. Um, so yeah, it took a little while for them all to bond, but when it finally did, it was so worth it. And then after that, I didn't have to separate them at all. So they just bonded after that little meet up in the hallway, um, after months and months of being separated by bars, I must add. 
But yeah, they finally bonded after a little meet up on neutral area. They all just decided to get along and it was great. Number nine, swapping toys over. This again, like swapping the sides over, will help them get to know each other's scent and it also will stop them becoming territorial over their toys. Because when you finally bond them, you don't want one of them to be like, well, that's my toy, leave it alone. Number 10, feeding them at the same time. This again, like stroking them, will initiate a trust with them. And it will also help you bond with the bunnies as well. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any more questions, then comment them below or DM me on Insta.